guys? It's me, Brooke B. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the girls' room, aka my bathroom. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys my self-tanning routine. I am an avid self-tanner, um, as you can see by my glowing skin, um, but I have tried a bunch of different products on the market um, and I'm going to be able to tell you what is the best for the results you want? Whether it's the best product for your face, best product for buildable tan, best product for instant color, best product for lasting tan. So if this tanning session interests you, please hit the button that says subscribe below. But that means so much to me and it helps me be able to create more content like this and more videos for you. So please subscribe if this resonates with you. If you like my videos, that'd be great. Um, and we can be chill and be friends. Um, cool. Did you hit it? Okay, thanks. So moving on, um, I'll, I'm gonna hop in the shower because that's the first part of my tanning routine. I actually shaved a couple days ago, which is great because I recommend um, either like just not shaving right before your tan because sometimes and this doesn't happen for everyone But sometimes your your skin gets really porous and that can kind of show by using the self tanner. So I sh As I said shaved a couple days ago, so I'm good to go. Otherwise, I recommend shaving after you put on self tanner and it's um, Set and dried and add the color you want it and then when you wash it off like shave at that time, too. Um, okay, so cool. Be right back. Here are all the products I used today, you guys. Enjoy. Okay, you guys, so I just showered, and I didn't use this this time because I want to show you what um, the Pita Jane medium tan looks like on my skin, but if I want to be really, really dark, I use the Jergens, um Wet Skin, so that's my first step. So this gives you, like, a little bit of instant color or not sorry not instant color this gives you buildable color it develops over time and if you use this daily you will notice that but i just use it once in a while when i want to look really dark um so but you can use this daily um i will say you to apply this you put it on as the last thing like right as about your right as you're about to step out of the shower don't you stay in the shower your body's damp turn off the water you put this all over you put about this much like a quarter size um on each like arm leg torso and just like rub it around and then you get out of the shower and then pat down pat not rub with a towel um i use medium to deep because i like being really dark they have other as most all tanning products do they have other tones but my recommendation to you is to just buy dark or extra dark or maybe like a shade darker than whatever you want to be and just use less of the product um that's typically how i look at it but i just like to be <laughs> maximum um tan so um after i do the jergens natural glow wet skin i use pita jane which is a new mousse Thank you guys for gifting this to me that I got. And I used to use um, San Tropez mousse, um, which is similar. However, PETA is um, vegan and cruelty free. So this is amazing. I have the medium bottle and it's a it's a full, it's a full mousse. There's like barely shaking, but I, I always shake the product a little bit. So we're going to try this. I normally would buy dark in this, like dark everything. However, 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 um, dark was sold out for them and their products have been out of stock, um, for a really long time. So they also, it also comes with a tanning mitt you can buy. Um, so let's, let me, let me show you. Let me just show you. All right, here, foam test. Also, they have the easy spout, which I like. It's because when you like, oh, I don't know if I want to like do this all over my arm right now. But when you like spray it and it like, you can kind of like glide it more easier than just like a, a normal top. So that's why I like these easy spray tops. I'll do it. Like, look at that. So easy. And look at that color. There's no orange at all. I know so many people are concerned about like orangey undertones. But that's never been a concern of mine. I've tried so many products and like I've never been like, oh, I look orange. But um, I also have very olive complexion. I kind of left that on in the spot too long. But um, 
Oh my gosh. And I want to talk about the smell. It smells really good. You really can't smell the DHA. A lot of people like, um, and more, not even a lot of people, some people, and a lot of people's boyfriends, like in the past, um, were concerned being like, you kind of like have a smell, like, I don't know. And it's just that smells the DHA is like the tanner. It never bothers me, but clearly it bothers some, some boyfriends and significant others. But this smells really light and airy. I don't know how to describe it. I've never smelled a tanner like smell like this but it's like I think normally when the normally normally the tanners I've tried smell really perfumey trying to mask that but this just smells really like light, light and I promise you guys will love the scent um if you're worried about the DHA I don't smell it at all and somehow this still smells really good and light anyway so this is great for instant color as well as um developing color what I like about mousses um are that that it comes with instant color and that's like the I mean, you can see like a little bit of bronze already where I put it on my arm. Um, that's the instinct part of mousses, which I love. And then after six to eight hours, it will fully develop. And that's when you shower. I sleep in it. I just want to be the most tan ever. Um, so you can do that also. But if you have white sheets, be careful because you will make them dirty. Um, I don't have white sheets. <laughs> I have brown and tan. Um because I tan all the time. And so that's, if you're looking for instant, definitely go with a mousse because this has great instant color and then also buildable after six to eight hours. However, I do find with most mousses, um, no matter what the brand is, um, that the color I feel like fades within, I don't know. So I feel like people say typically like, oh, it lasts like a week. Like sure it does, but I feel like the, the, the bulk of the color fades within two days, um, which is why I'm going to talk about the next product, which is the tanning water. So self tan water extra dark is where I go to tanologist. Um, you can get this at Target. It's I want to say it's like $15. It's pretty um, inexpensive in the scale of tannic products, as is the Jergens. Um, Mousses do tend to, to cost a little more than water-based products or the, the body shower gels. Um, so the water-based tan, put this on again, like after I would do this, my long tanning routine, which I'm not going to do today. I'm just going to do the, the pita mousse so you guys can see the before and after. But after the shower mousse, I would do, <laughs> this is a lot, you guys, I know. I would do, but I love it, and it doesn't take that long, I swear. I would do the tanning water, and you see it says one hour express. That's key. So I do find that it doesn't give you a ton. Like, it gives you a little bit of instant color. Mousse is going to get you give you the most instant color. Mousse. Um, but this, I find, water-based ones are really buildable. So if you put this on um, every day for, like, three days and let it develop then that's when you're really going to see yourself maintaining the tan as opposed to just using a mousse. So this is what I'm saying, you guys. You need multiple products if you want to keep your tan. My friends come to me and they're like, what products do you use? I swear to God, my color goes away in a day. It's probably because you're just using this or you're just using this or you're just using this. You kind of need to do the combo. And I'm telling you, this is the best combo I found. I mean, um, I have tanner on my face. And then, like, I'm kind of, like, wasting away the tan color that I've had. But I'm going on lake this weekend, so I am going to put on, um, maybe I will. I am going to put on the PETA. I'm, like, tempted to do the tanologist. But I really want you guys to see the PETA color because that's my newest product. Um, but that is my recommendation. So, to recap, this is your base, buildable. Buildable, some instant color. Most instant color, a little bit buildable. Okay, moving on to face. I have, again, the Tanologist Face and Body Drops. What shade is this? I can't read. Dark, I also have Extra Dark. And then, so it's the same brand as this. The Extra Dark comes in these um, non-transparent purple bottles. So I've used both. And I actually prefer the dark tanning drops to the Extra Dark for my face because I get plenty of color. So here's the deal. This is your hack for the face drops. Um, my friend discovered this, so shout out to her for telling me because you're a real one. 
So typically the directions say for an even color and I also don't know the other reason for doing this, but you want to mix it with a moisturizer. I use Verst. I use so many of their products. That can be a whole nother video, obsessed. So you wanna, what you wanna do is their directions say to do this. And that's fine if you wanna do this. I did this forever until like, I think a couple days ago. So you're gonna like, like, ugh, see if I can get this out. You're gonna do, you're gonna combine the moisturizer with the tanning drops. Excuse me while I get these drops. And they say up to 12. <laughs> I don't count. I was literally using the entire thing, like dropping, I, I was filling it up and using the entire thing because I was mixing it in here and I needed that much to get that much color. So what you do is like mix and then you put it on. I'm not going to put it on because my face is plenty tan right now. Um, I don't need to be that dark, so I'm washing it off. But what we discovered, so those are the directions, what we discovered and what my friend told me is that she was desperate and she didn't have moisturizer and all she did was put this on her face, like rub it in her hands, like like oil, like face oil. You can also mix it with that. I use Lancome. Um, so that's also an option is to combine it with this, but I don't do that. Um, so we, my friend and I, just literally take this, drop it directly into our hands and I use way less. I don't have to use the full dropper as I did when I had to put it with my moisturizer because I wanted to get darker. Um, we just put it directly on our face. I, that's what I do. That's my hack. I don't know why they say to mix it with other things. Um, but if you want to do it that way and <laughs> do the actual directions, otherwise that's how me and my friend do it. Um, we just put it directly on our skin. I've never had a problem in the like past week that I've been doing this with it being uneven or anything um might be like a little dry but then it's like I just put on my moisturizer before before doing these drops because if you put it on after it's gonna like kind of wash away the tan so you don't want to do that so um moisturizer and then final step well okay actually first step's gonna be your any type of um serum and then I was calling it oil and I was like well that's not right um some people have oil any type of serum moisturizer facial tanner because then you're moisturized and you're gonna your skin's gonna absorb this product perfectly and not look like dry and get weird alligator skin so that is my recommendation on how to do your face okay a lot of people also have issues saying that um I like how I'm just filming in this robe this whole time. This is in real time. So, you know, it's legit because I'm really doing this <laughs> for my sister's bridal shower and for my lake adventures this weekend. So, need to get some color. But, um, anyway. I lost my train of thought. What were we talking about, guys? <laughs> oh, yes. Anyway, some people have trouble doing their hands. What you can do... You're gonna spray, you're gonna do your whole body, cover yourself with the mousse, whatever. And then you're not gonna put more on the mitt. You're just gonna take the mitt once you've done your whole body and the residue from that, then you're gonna go over your hands and like in between and all of that stuff um, to do the hands. And same with the feet. Um, and people are like, what about your back? I really like don't tan my back that much. It, it doesn't even look weird. I don't know what I'm doing. Like I kind of just like, turn around and like go like that or whatever there are things on amazon that i'll link <coughs> excuse me i really need some water that are like um these mitts but they're a whole string and you can like you know like you were drying off with a towel like put on sand that way i just like don't do it like i just kind of go like this this and then like weird like that and i like call it good um sometimes i have my boyfriend or friend just like spray my back with this if I'm doing that. But other than that, I, you like don't need to put tanner on your back, you guys, unless it looks really weird. Um, sorry, put tanner on your back, but just like go around and it'll be fine. Don't just like skip your back. <laughs> um, but you don't need to like go so all out. But if you like to and you're perfectionist, I love that about you. And you just like, I have the, the Amazon link if that bothers you. Um, but it's been fine to me. But I'm also a very olive skin tone, so that may be why. Anyway, that is my tanning routine with all the products. I'm gonna show you before and after of the Peter Jane Instant. 
I'm literally just showing a like you can see where I have the tanner in that color versus where I don't have it so just wanted to show you guys that okay look how tan the legs are you guys saw the before and after where I was laying on the product I'm really pleased from this being a medium product you can see you can see how beautiful this color is and what I am obsessed with is the fact that it's really olive like my natural skin and you don't get that with a lot of other tanners like you know and now with this medium color I think the color is so beautiful and so olivey um like I'm considering not using dark anymore like do I just use medium so yeah I mean I really really like this it smells good I'm excited to get ready to go to my sister's second bridal shower um now that I feel like I have a good tanning base and I'm excited to see what this looks like after six to eight hours that's my tanning routine you guys um remember to like comment share subscribe um and let me know if you end up trying any of these products and what you think of them I really want to try the dark from Peta Jane now so maybe i'll have to try that out but i still love the medium i just have to try the dark though because it's my go-to um and i hope you guys enjoy the video have a great one